this is Brittany with Extra Magic Minutes. We are so excited. We are going on vacation in two weeks. We just did a big, massive video about how we plan a trip to Walt Disney World. And then off property, if you stay off property, that's any hotel that's off property. I said off property like 60 times. <laughs> and I mentioned that we were gonna do a full video about how I plan my outfits, put on a little fashion show. I also have some things to unbox that I ordered off Shop Disney that I needed for the trip. <laughs> Mickey bar ice cream ears. Here they are. I'm gonna take them out of the bag. And they're supposed to smell like chocolate. Oh, they really do smell like chocolate. Amazing. Okay, so here they are. Ooh, longest tags ever. So these are the Mickey ice cream bar ears. And they are lounge fly. And they smell like chocolate. Now they had a different pair of Mickey ice cream bar ears that they used to have where the ear has like a bite out of it. Not my favorites. These ones are amazing. They smell great. And I have an outfit already in mind for them for the trip. The other thing that's weird is that they smell like those lotions that were edible that you could buy. It was like when I was in middle school or high school and they were all food flavored. There was a chocolate one and it smells exactly like these ears. Total throwback to that moment when I bought it and I was like, my arm tastes like chocolate. Like who cares? Cannibals. But anyway, <laughs> it smells exactly the same. I have a whole outfit planned for them. So we're going to put that on in a little bit, but let's open the stuff from Shop Disney now. <laughs> we take it out of the bag. Now this I needed for the trip, the skeleton dance bucket hat. It says Silly Symphonies on the back. It's like a black acid wash. And I'm definitely gonna wear this. And I got something else to go with it. The skeleton dance shirt. Look at how cute. Oh, it's really nice. Like the material feels really nice. It feels cool, but thick. And it's not white, it's like off-white. This is the look, I can't wait. We're gonna have such a cute little outfit to try on. Get some Halloween coffee and Halloween sugary treats. So this might be the winner. There you go. The boyfriend likes wearing the hats while I'm filming. So if I happen to look over, I'm like, oh, there he is, wearing a hat. Fix the camera. More. They're Grogu ears. I'm thrilled about this pair. Now they are Star Wars lounge fly and they have like a thick headband on the top. I'm most interested in this design in particular because there are other pairs of Grogu ears that are not as cute as these ones. And I think these are gonna look really good if I have my hair out and like curly. Now let me talk a little bit about how I plan outfits first. When I go to Disney World, there's a few things that are important to think about. What will the weather be like? So this trip I'm expecting it's gonna be hot and rainy. We usually go in January or February so I can sort of wear whatever and it doesn't rain that much and it's not hot. So this one I had to think more about what things I could wear that I don't care if they get wet, which is sort of what dictated my ear choice because there are some ears, like if they have fur on them or they're suede, like I don't want those to get wet. And then the other way that I plan outfits is I also think about one piece that I want to be the focus. So a pair of ears or a pair of shoes, an accessory usually. And then I build an outfit around that. All right, let's put some outfits on. We ran out of natural light, so it's a new day. So the first outfit that we have is to do a tour of Pop Century, where we're gonna be staying. So the main focus was these beautiful ears. And the rest of the outfit, I just wanted to be kind of basic, so I'm just gonna wear like a white t-shirt, like what I have on, maybe like a tennis skirt or bike short. And I really wish that I could wear my beautiful, fluffy Ugg slippers, which I'm obsessed with, but I can't wear these outside. And I probably won't bring them with us because uh, that's not a good use of suitcase space. So I'm probably just gonna wear my white Converse since we're just walking around the resort. Let's put the it on. So that was our first look and now we're on to our Disney Springs day. I have quite a bit of things planned to do at Disney Springs, but one of the main things is going back to Gideon's Bakehouse, which is probably my favorite place at Disney Springs now. And even better, we know that the September cookie is gonna be peanut butter cold brew, which is like one of the main reasons that I like to go there. They have peanut butter cold brew coffee that is incredible. Can't find it anywhere else. I live in New York City. They don't make it here. I'm a big Gideon's fan, if you couldn't tell. And I got this Gideon's shirt. I bought this during Pride Month. I just thought it was so cute. So I'm gonna wear this and jean shorts. So this is just a casual outfit and same thing for the Pop Century one. I don't want you guys to think I spent a lot of time thinking about these particular looks because it's just like a t-shirt and jeans. Some of the later looks have more bells and whistles, but this one I just wanted to be comfortable. We're gonna buy a bunch of snacks and make a Gideon's dedicated video. We'll put a link in the description once that video is available and a little thing up top. Well, it's gonna be on this side. I know that the boyfriend's gonna say that. So it's gonna be over here. Let's try it on.
So after Gideon's and some Disney Springs exploring, we're gonna be going to homecoming for dinner. And I felt like a t-shirt and jean shorts was not fancy enough for dinner. I know that like people will wear that there and it's not that big of a deal, but we don't really go out to dinner that much. It'd be like cute little date night. So I wanted to put on a lovely little dress. So I have some options and this is one where I have not decided yet. So this is the first look. It is a flamingo skirt. And then I have just like a white top. I have a pink cardigan I'll probably wear with it, which I know it's gonna be like 90 degrees, but it might be cold inside. The reason that I thought a flamingo outfit would be cute is because homecoming is sort of Florida themed and I always associate flamingos with Florida but I also thought this outfit would be great for pretty much anything at the Grand Floridian so this is option number one and I have a little little pink headband a bow band to go with it you know I'm not sure I want to wear ears at dinner because it's at Disney Springs it's not in Disney World the boyfriend is shaking his head like I shouldn't wear ears at dinner well it's the only time I get to wear ears outside so anyway I have a look that doesn't have them and I have a look that does and this one just has a bow band which feels like a compromise right Right. It's in between the two. It's not ears, but it's still a little head something. So this is the option number one. So number two, um, you know, I thought about it some more and I'm not really sure that it's the right thing for this particular occasion. I'm gonna try it on anyway and show it to you. So I have this dress from Shein. I thought it was gonna be more brown. I bought it for Miss Minutes, Disney bound, but. And then I have these waffle ears, which is sort of what I was thinking I wanted to wear because I was like, well, I'm gonna get chicken and waffles. And then I remember that Homecoming has chicken and biscuits. So <laughs> this might not be the right look. They don't have waffles. <laughs> I was like really, oh, this is the best idea and then now uh, no maybe I'll wear this to somewhere else but I'm still gonna put it on for you you can look at it this was option number two and option number three is this just like a cute little mini look I've worn this dress lots of times it's comfortable it's reliable I know that everything's gonna be fine I've worn it out to things I've worn it wherever so I know that this is like a good backup option all right let's try the outfits on we get to put on our outfits for Halloween. One of the main reasons we plan to go this time of year is so we can go to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And we were gonna wear a costume, you know, if you watch our Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party video, you guys gave me such amazing suggestions in the comments. We were thinking about being Figment and Dreamfinder at first, but I looked at the weather and I just know it's gonna be 90 degrees and raining, like I just know it. So we could save that for Halloween and wear it up here when it's not gonna be 90 degrees and just do a cute little Halloween outfit. I have three options. Let me show you what I have. So this is one option. Now I have this skirt and this this is a piece that I would use twice on the trip, so that's always good if I can reuse pieces. Ideally, I don't want to bring 10 different outfits. I want to bring pieces that I can wear more than once. So I have this skirt, this cute little mini Halloween shirt. Look at her, she's so cute. Now these I both got on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description if they're still available. I love this cute little mini shirt. And then the accessories would be this little bow band. It goes, oh, the skirt fell. <laughs> This little bow band because it goes with the outfit and it's also checkered, but like the reverse print. These ears, which are orange and also have like a buffalo plaid bow. So this is probably the look. If I have the opportunity to wear ears, I better take it. And then here's the second option. So this would be my little pumpkin outfit. Current mood pumpkin shirt. And then we have an orange skirt. You've seen the current mood pumpkin shirt because I wore it in our Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party video. This is my most worn Halloween shirt because the mood is always pumpkin. And then I would wear it with braids and my little pumpkin hat doesn't get enough wear, you know, out in the world because it has the Mickey ears. And this I got in 2019 when we went for Halloween, so I'd wear this together. Da -da -da. And then the third option. Skeleton dance shirt and my new skeleton dance bucket hat. I tried it with bike shorts and I think I want to wear it with my black tennis skirt that I ordered, but for this video I'll have my bike shorts on and then when the black tennis skirt gets here it'll be in the packing video so you'll see it. But I think this might be the winner because they're so cute. And I've been on the fence about bucket hats and I put this one on and I said, oh wait, it's really cute on me. So everyone else looks great in them. I just wasn't sure for me. And I actually love this. And I was thinking either way, a hat if it rains or if it's sunny, you know, that blocks my face from the sun and my face from the rain. So uh, yeah, this is probably gonna be the winner, but let's try them on so you can see them. Boo to you. Let me put on.
we put together for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Now, I did want to show off one other pair of ears. I did think about bringing these instead of the pumpkin hat. However, they don't pack very well. They get really bent. So this, even just in the bag, it was like this. Uh, so I'm not going to bring them. But anyway, I just wanted to show them because they're cute. I also wanted to acknowledge that this is now the third day. <laughs> the third day we're filming this outfit video. We keep losing light. But also, last time I was filming, uh, I found out right after that I had COVID. It took like a week off and I'm finally feeling well enough to film again. And talk about some more outfits. So I might be a little bit nasal for this one. Hopefully we'll get better in the next few days before we go to Disney World. So here are all the food and wine options. And I know for sure that we're going to wear the little Remy shoulder plush. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I love these, so I can't wait to wear them. So he's got the magnet there. I also just found out from two of my friends at work that the plushes can wear new emo outfits. I don't need to know that because I don't need to start collecting those two. So I'm going to try to pretend I don't know that information. Anyway, so let's talk about the ears first because that's where I started. In my mind, these looks are completed by the Remy ears, which are at Epcot, but I didn't buy them last time. When I went into the store, it was crazy. There were so many people in there. <laughs> Oh no, I can't do it. This time I'm hoping it's less busy. But I also have some backup options. I have this ear headband, which I already wore for the flamingo outfit to Disney Springs, so I'll have it with me. I can wear it until I get the Remy ears. I also have these France Pavilion ears I might bring with me because they're so pretty. And I've never worn them in the parks before. However, they are sequined, which means they're gonna pull my hair out of my head. But still, they're cute. If I don't go pink, I could go red and wear these new ears that I got in February from the Italy Pavilion. I'll do like a mixed print, like a check and a polka dot. I don't know. Anyway, so now let me show you the options. At first, I was thinking about this dress, but I'm not even gonna put it on because I, I don't even think I'm gonna put it on. I don't like that the straps are so thin and long. It's really not for me. But the bigger issue is that it's kind of long on me. I've worn long things in the parks before in the past, and I find that I'm trying to get out of rides and my feet get stuck in the bottom of my dresses. So I try to wear like knee length or shorter. It's just a lot easier. I just see myself sitting in a frozen boat and trying to stand up, which is already difficult enough. It's wet and it's stuck on my shoe. So I think I'm not even gonna consider this one and just whoop, bye. We've got this check skirt which I already am bringing for a Halloween look. So that might be smart to bring this one and not pack extra pieces. This one with the white top and a little strawberry sweater that I'm bringing for another look too. That might be cute with the Remy ears. Little shoulder plush. So we'll try this one on. Now the second look is this little check dress. And then I probably wear like a white t-shirt underneath it. I love having my shoulders out in the summer for sunburn reasons. Just like another thing to worry about getting sunburned. I already have to slather my whole body in sunscreen. So I might wear like white a white shirt that covers here and here so that I don't have to worry about this area burning. I also have this dress, which I would do a similar thing with. It's a little bit longer, a little more flowy. Let's try them on. together outfits for Magic Kingdom. Now our plan for the day is to try lots of 50th anniversary snacks. Maybe go on some opening day rides and do a whole 50th video. I wanted to do that last time when we were there and we got one snack and then we're like, we're full. <laughs> So this time I'm gonna try to eat a few more things. Anyway, I have two outfit options. I'm not sure which one I wanna wear. So one is with these new ears we just got, these Mickey ice cream bar ears. And I have a pink skirt to go with it and a shirt. The other option is these 50th anniversary light up ears. <laughs> and I have a gold skirt to go with these and then just the same shirt. So I'm not sure which one we'll go with, but let's try them both on and then we can decide. How cool is it that these ears light up? Ah! <laughs> I just think it's so cool. And now we're gonna put together, I just have one look for this, I knew what I wanted to wear. To go to Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind for the first time at Epcot. I have been holding on to this dress for years, either for Cosmic Rewind or for Guardians 3 or both. I'm going to wear it with Adidas sneakers that I'm getting that are coming tomorrow, but uh, they're white, so I'm just going to put my Converse on with it. But let me show you the dress. It's perfect. It's cassette tapes. I just felt like it was the right color palette. It's the cassette tapes. It's from LuLaRoe. <laughs> 
but I didn't buy it. My friend gave it to me. LuLaRoe was, uh, is a nightmare, but also was always popular because they fit everybody. They're very stretchy and comfortable. Let's put it on. I want to say that I don't have any accessories yet. I'm hoping that maybe one speaks to me at the gift shop outside of the ride. Like a little Zune bag or something. And now I gotta show you my outfit for our monorail loop day. My whole family is coming. There's gonna be eight of us. I'm probably not gonna film that much that day, but I really wanted to wear this shirt. This is vintage. It was my mom's. She doesn't know I'm gonna wear it. She's gonna be so excited. So let me show you the top. It's this Hawaiian print. It's got a pocket. And let me show you the back. It's got Minnie and Mickey. Look how cute. This is like a crown jewel of my vintage collection. Got a couple pieces I really love. You remember my Winnie the Pooh jacket from last trip. That's the other like really, really good piece. This one too. I love this one. So I can't wait to wear it. All right, let me show you the outfit on. So that was our monorail loop day outfit. I cannot wait to wear it at the Polynesian eating a Dole Whip. Very excited to bring this shirt back to where it belongs. And now I have my Hollywood Studios outfits. Now I find that Hollywood Studios is truly the hardest part for me to choose an outfit for because I always have too many options. I feel like I always end up bringing multiple outfits and then changing halfway through the day, which is what I'm going to do also this trip. I have lots of things. <laughs> It's mostly accessories. I was gonna bring, hold on, I'm gonna put them down so I can show So I was gonna bring my Tower of Terror ears again. I wore them last trip, but we didn't really get any good pictures of them. But I think I'm gonna save them for our next trip because all the outfit ideas I had with them, I don't think will be good when it's 90 degrees outside. I'm gonna put them away, but these are my beauties. I got new tower ears too, but these ones were uh, the harder ones to get and I love them with their little tassel. Okay, let me stop talking about how much I like these and tell you about the outfits. Okay, the second outfit. We're gonna buy new magic bands and there is a bounty hunter little scavenger hunt type thing you can do in Batu now. I thought I would dress as the cutest bounty there is, Baby Yoda, a little Grogu look. So I got these new ears. I saw them at the beginning of the video. And then I have a, um, a little Star Wars shirt with Grogu on it. And I'm gonna wear this with my khaki skirt. So that's look number one to do our little uh, bounty hunter scavenger hunt. And then my second look is a completion of a look that I've worn in the park before. So we're bringing back out the alien dress. I love the Toy Story aliens. As you may already know, I've done many any Toy Story alien looks. We have the ears from last time. I've got this new little lounge fly wristlet because last time I wore a popcorn bucket, but I would not put a popcorn bucket in my suitcase to bring with me to Disney and then bring back again because it was difficult to put back in the suitcase. I had to pack it full of socks so it wouldn't break. But the pièce de résistance for the look, they're alien shoes. <laughs> I can't wait to wear them out. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Take them out of the box. First of all, the bottom says Stan, like Stan Smiths, because that's what they are. I love Adidas sneakers. They have the alien and Rex on the tags. They have like a dinosaur print. They're suede in some spots. And then on the back, it says, it's not easy being green. That was the collection they were part of. There were also Kermit shoes, Monsters Inc. shoes, both which I have. And then they have the little Pizza Planet logo. So these are amazing and I can't wait to wear them. And they complete my outfit. After three years, I have all the pieces I need. So let's put them on. Kingdom looks. Animal Kingdom for me is the hardest park to dress for. I feel like I don't have the right clothes for it and also it's always so so hot. So I have two options this time. One is something that I think I've already worn in the park. I'm gonna wear it again. So let me show you that one first. Oh no! So that one is this animal print Mickey shirt. This orange corduroy sh skirt. I forget the word just for skirt. And then my giraffe ears. I wore leopard last trip, so giraffe. I gotta wear this trip. I only have two Animal Kingdom ears, if you can believe it. And then my second look is something new. It's this Lion King shirt. And then I'm gonna wear a black skirt with it that's coming in the mail today. And then I also have this Lion King on Broadway hat that I've had since I was like five. Boston, the Lion King. 
<laughs> the tour hat. Um, yeah, so it might be nice to wear a hat, although maybe it's hot because it's gonna be black, but also it'll cover my face from the sun. So this is my uh, second option. And I guess we'll just put them both on and see which one we like. Okay, let's try them on. Those are all the outfits that we have in mind for our Walt Disney World trip, which is coming up in just a few days. If you're interested in any of the pieces, I'm gonna try to link as many things as I can, so they'll be in the description below and also up on extramagicminutes.com. And if you wanna see the outfits that we chose, you're gonna to wanna to watch our packing video, which is gonna be right up there. You go ahead, you wanna click on it and see what we picked, watch us pack, talk about all the other things we're packing, and then we're gonna be going to Walt Disney World. You wanna watch that one next. Okay, bye. Thanks for getting ready with me. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.